Hey guys, welcome back to Why You Were Cleaning. Today I'm going to show you how to put together some hot chocolate bombs. I think these will be perfect for some Valentine gifts. They're simple and affordable to put together. If you enjoyed today's video, remember to hit that like button, comment down below, and subscribe to my channel. To make hot chocolate bombs, I would suggest using almond bark or melting chocolate. It just melts a lot easier and then it also will harden quicker for you so your process can go a little bit faster. So I just followed the directions on this package and melted a good deal of chocolate. This will be enough to make six hot chocolate bombs. Now I'm going to use this mold. I bought this online at Amazon. I will link it down in the description box for you. I haven't really found these in any stores yet and you might be able to get by with using a different mold, but it's very simple to use the silicone mold. So I would suggest just getting one of these. I added some of the chocolate to the bottom of each of these little cups and then just spread it around with a spoon. I found that it's easiest to use a spoon rather than trying to fit a large spatula or something in there. Just use the back of your spoon to spread it around and try to cover all of the inside of this half circle. I place these in the freezer for about five minutes to harden up and then as you can see here there are some gaps where it didn't cover perfectly the first time around so then you'll want to go ahead and do a second layer on these try to cover up any thin areas that you might have so that these will be nice and strong when you're ready to take them out of this mold. Place these back in the freezer for a few more minutes until they're hardened and then you can see here they're very simple to just pop out of these molds. Do still be gentle but they're not too hard to get out. Next I heated up a glass plate in the microwave for about two minutes and I'm just going to flatten the top edge of my circle. Make sure it's completely flat so that two pieces can fit together correctly with a nice seal on them. So you're going to do that to your base pieces first, and then I add about a third a package of Swiss Miss or hot chocolate mix into these molds. Next, I added in some mini marshmallows to all of the remaining space. You could add some other toppings in these as well, maybe some crushed peppermint or some different chocolate chips or something similar. To top these off, I'm going to take another half circle, spin that on my hot plate for a little bit, and then line up the edges and press it down in place. And then you can see here how those create a nice seal on them by making sure those edges are flat. I'm going to add a few different types of decorations to the top of my hot chocolate bombs. So I did crush up a peppermint candy cane. I do also have these Russell Stover itty bitty hearts that I found with the Valentine items out at Dollar Tree right now. And then I have some different colors of sprinkles. You could add all sorts of things to the top of your hot chocolate bombs, mini chocolate chips look great on these as well. And then to make all of these toppings stick, I am going to be using some vanilla almond bark. And what I did was I stuck this, after I melted it, I stuck it inside of a Ziploc bag. Once I have all of the white chocolate added to this bag, I then took my scissors and I cut a small hole in the corner. You could also use an icing bag for this step if you wanted to. And this just makes it so it drizzles a little bit easier. I found it's easier just to press it out of a small hole rather than trying to drizzle it on with a spoon. So I just made a checkered pattern on the top of my hot chocolate bombs and then I started adding my toppings. So again, just add whatever you would like. You could change up the colors depending on the holiday that you're making it for or you could just even leave these plain. Another nice thing about this white chocolate is it drizzles down past that seam on the side of the hot chocolate bomb and helps hold it in place a little bit better. So now I'll just show you how this works once you add the hot milk to it. You can add milk or water to this and I just placed it in a large cup and then poured the milk on top and you can see how it starts to flow and then pops open. And this is the perfect amount of chocolate for this large cup. 
All right, so that is everything that I have to share with you for today's video. Let me know down in the comments if you have already made hot chocolate bombs or if you plan to make them. I hope that today's video was helpful for you. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.